Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. <laughs> but if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. It goes everywhere I do. Hey! Oh. Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! Very good. Okay, so here we are in Saint Denis, where we are going to be meeting Sadie. Um, and we're going to be checking in on, um, well, I assume. What happens to Colmo Driscoll? Because um, he's been uh, arrested and he's set to be hanged, I think. So that should be the end of the uh, Driscolls. Shouldn't have any of them to deal with. So let's go see. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are going to disguise ourselves in this, in this. Oh, great. I wear a stupid outfit. I just got used to my Crocodile Dundee outfit. Okay. Come on. Oh, poor Sadie. We've got her dressed up like a right. Well, Looking. don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. Huh. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Comb. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. 
this doubting and questioning of yours, I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got to hang into witness. Got to hang into witness. Do you like a good Here, hanging? Don't the public love an execution? Unless it's been done in an electric chair, then that's not quite so um, good. Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. All right. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Okay. I'm, so, I'm assuming Como Driscoll's men are trying to save him from the gallows. And I guess we're going to uh, uh, pr try and prevent Let's that from happening. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we face worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building, maybe, and get him and do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Right, find a way onto the rooftop. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. No shit, Dutch. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Can I, Can I not go through the doors? Can. This is the. Sometimes a man is so savage. There's O'Driscoll's the men. Deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. 
He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges are... This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen. <laughs> he's just realizing he's not getting out of this one. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Oh, Sadie's gone nuts. Morgan, you hear us? Take a shot on these old Driscolls. Go? Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. Mission accomplished. Como Driscoll. the bastard hang okay but <coughs> no thing ain't gonna save us i guess that's one less thing to worry about i guess compared to the entire government in the end como driscoll didn't seem like such a worry a letter came for you oh, okay i know it's from that mary mary she ain't worth it arthur who is Letter from Mary. Sent me a ring. My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you. And I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago, 
and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant, and the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Wow. Goodbye letter. This, Arthur. How you doing? Confused? How are you up? Worried? What's happened to all you boys? Yeah, we're gonna be Just old. keep your head down for now. I guess. Hi there, Jack. Hi, Uncle Arthur. Don't stray too far. I won't. Need to keep you inside, okay? Okay. Times, Mr. Morgan. You okay, Susan? All those years and look at us. It's pathetic. I know. I just I ain't sure what to do. Yes, Arthur. Poor Karen. Here we are, Arthur. Why don't you lay off the bottle for a bit? Why don't you lay off me? Only concern. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not talking to Micah because he's an asshole. Oh, there he is. Coffin Billy. Get lost. Oh, he'll be okay, Arthur. And if you ain't, we'll all meet. I don't want to hear it, okay? I won't tell you then. I see straight through you, Micah. You, you need some new lines, Morgan. Nope. I know what you are. Where's Sadie? I'd like to have a word with her because she completely lost the plot. Is she here? There's Reverend. Never did get to finish my conversation with him. Reverend? I think you did the right thing with Herr Strauss. It was time. Thank you. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Be well. Oh, we're Pearson. It's all over. All over. I don't want to die. Not like this. Not. I don't want that. I don't. With you. It, it's all so sad, Mr. Morgan. So very sad. I... I don't know. I don't know. I 
No things seem bad. We're gonna die here. Don't give up just yet. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Okay, Arthur. Don't give up on everything just yet. I've not bothered bringing the camp any provisions recently. <laughs> um... Give him a brush. Hey, stay calm now. Give him some food. Right. Right, where are we heading next then? Um, Amy Sinclair. Hmm. He's not terribly far away. There's a newspaper for sale in um, Annasburg. Maybe we go check on the newspaper. Yeah. And then we'll go see that Hamish Sinclair fella who was the old bloke who, with no leg, whose horse had ran off with his leg. dead I got like dead dead I got red dead <laughs> that's not happened for a while has it freeze Hi there Arthur Hi there John Right we're going to Annasburg but I Don't use me guns Must have been a random scripted event. Not happened again. Yeah. Ja. 
Listen to me. Sir, madam, gather round, gather round. I make no bones for my testament. For my testament is science, and science is God, sir. So help me, God, so strike me down. We are killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast and hard and nasty. Love you, me, sir. The world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, but look around you. Look around and learn and weep. Hey. Read this book. It is the future of American science. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Scoff not. Laugh not. Deride not. I speak the truth. We are killing this land. Killing it with greed. Killing it with science. I am a scientist. The land will boil. The sea will dry up. The world will heat. Crops shall wither. The hills shall burn. The rivers shall turn to fire. And this will not be some eternal damnation from above. This is the very manifestation of our greed. This is a land founded on greed. Not on science, not on truth, but on greed. We must think. Not merely desire. Hey, partner. We don't eat meat in them, don't we? <laughs> Charlotte. Oh. Science right. Let's have a ride. We've not been back here since we um, shot um, Cornwall, Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, that's a. Uh... Nobody seemed to want to arrest me, so that seemed to go okay. Let's not ride off of there, please, horsey. And don't throw me off there either, horsey. Yeah, Charlotte was the lady who we taught how to skin rabbits. Um, It must be a black bear if it had been a grizzly. It would have attacked.
We might as well skin it while we're here. We might as well. Not that we need any black bear skins, but... Yeah, I've got to find, I've got to find, um, I've got to find a grizzly. There's a one hunter challenge I still haven't done yet, which is take down a grizzly using knives. Only knives. Um... run over something. There, yeah, you stay there, horsey. Feel him, Much better than I felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Not quite. Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. Ah, uh, got away. I told you it was fast. Anyway, my turn. Come on, come on. Can Very I good. Say, thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Sure. Why not? Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Okay. You're not going to try and poison me like some of the other people that have 
brought me into their homes for um, <laughs> well, the it's, food. It's good and hot. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <laughs> bon appétit. Yeah. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make best if I just collapse and die. Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. I got some money. It appears to be all she has. But yeah, it's clear <laughs> Arthur's condition is rapidly deteriorating. Could have been obviously the husband's place, and she doesn't obviously have anything left, but I'm not going to rob from her. I'm not. She she was nice to me. She was kind. Um, she's gone out hunting. So the least I can do is just accept her. Uh, accept her thanks. Um, now we could go over here and see Hamish Sinclair.
that's the uh, next little side quest arama that we've got to do and have some more corned beef while I'm on the road Yeah, it's not going to be long, sadly, I think, before um, Arthur's days are done, you know? The, uh, the tuberculosis is uh, progressing very quickly in him. Um, at most, we can just try to help as many folks as we can in what little time we have left hopefully try and provide a better life for everyone back at camp and leave them in a better place than they're currently at but yeah it's it's going to be tough I must admit I'm getting a little bit sad I'm getting a little bit sad at the notion that the game's coming to an end very quickly I've really enjoyed playing this, but I'm aware that Arthur's time in this world is not going to be much longer. This is that Hamish dude's place. We'll tie up horsey. the old boy is in the house the door's open Hamish Arthur well come in you said we might go out fishing don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing let's go to my boat good here she is you mind rowing sure what are we fishing for yeah. only one thing worth catching in this lake great tyrant oh <laughs> mean as hell northern pike uh, eats everything else that spawns around here its own kind included well is that our bait then a uh, jack or something hell no he's a clever old bastard <laughs> i made these this one's mine you're gonna have to spare they are pretty you don't know the half of it <laughs> come on let's push off i'll show you where we're rowing to uh, <sighs> And we're going to go do some fishing. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up 10 yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> the optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? Get her out. A 
spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell casings, even a medal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. So if we get this northern pike. Oh, what's this? Well, you got something? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on a... now, Tyron. I got you. I got you. Come on. Ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. No, oh, it's a drop back. Hamish! Hamish! Stay um. there. I'm throwing out to you. Real quick. The bastard just bumped me. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> <laughs> he got pulled him. Hey, come on up here. At least he hasn't lost his leg. You lost anything? It's <sighs> just my rod. <sighs> We've got my toes too. They weren't wooden. <sighs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. Right, I'm going to catch him then, am I? I check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pike? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Oh! I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Wait. Don't reel while he's thrashing like that. Time to reel. I'm reeling. Stand steady. Don't let him pull you. Come on. Reel it in. I can see him now, though. Come on, come on. Start reeling. Come on. Here we go. I think we got him. Yeah, here we go. He's beating it with a stick. <laughs> I 
Let's row back. We caught the big fish. We caught the big fish. Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want them. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. Well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. There we are then. Mission complete. Right, um, I guess what I could do now is, uh, as soon as I'm over here, I've still got this bloody pelt on the back of my saddle. Um, so I could have a quick ride over to the trapper and get rid of that pelt. And then I guess, um, well, not really a lot to do at this point. All my quest markers have disappeared, so I will have to save at that point and uh, reload because I've got nothing <laughs> on my map. So um, that's what I'll probably do, folks. So I'm going to ride over to the trapper and we'll pick this up in the next episode of the series so thank you everybody for watching today's video really hope you've enjoyed it i'll see you all in the next one take care of yourselves stay safe goodbye for now